the most important thing is is, is MS Dhoni. We're talking about a legend here. We're talking about someone who won India's only World T20, not picked for the T20s. One, does that surprise you? And two, do you think that will have an impact on the one-day teams? Well, uh, to start with, it's it's uh, it's not going to have any impact whatsoever on the one-day format for sure, uh, because uh, World Cup is 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 the most important tournament, and uh, you've you've seen the kind of uh, support which MS has has been providing to the team, not only with his game but also the other aspects of the game as well, like you know the the, the vast experience which he has. Which is going to come very handy in uh, in World Cup because you know you you always talk about pressure also you know when you're playing a tournament like World Cup you're not only talking about the ability as a player or the, or a talent yeah. as a player. They would so have spoken to MS right before this. I'm sure yes and and uh, because the format is different and uh, you know all the preparation uh, and all the resting and playing the players. Uh, Whatever we've been seeing so far has been uh, with uh, with with the mindset of uh, of keeping everyone fresh as well. Yeah. So that's something which uh, which must have been discussed uh, is uh, is what I hope at the moment. Yeah. You know, you don't know what exactly have been communicated, what not been communicated. That is because you, in itself. Yeah, you suddenly have someone like Karun Nair coming from England tour saying that you know no one has really spoken to me, no well, one has Murli communicated with too. me. Uh, yeah. Murli Vijay also has mentioned something, and uh, and then you have other example of Kedar Jadhav. Who is who is mentioned that? Oh, I've been told to play the match. I've been uh, yeah. I've been told that if if you play and prove your fitness, you're going to be available. Yeah. And uh, it's happened otherwise. And suddenly you see that he's back for the fourth and fifth uh, ODI. So yes, there is a bit of clutter of thoughts, which uh, which is kind of uh, hard to understand. Uh, but nonetheless, I think uh, win is is what matters. And as long as team is winning, yeah. all these things uh, yeah. people yeah. should be ignoring in a in a, in a nice way. Ajay, do you think they're telling MS, look, you're probably only going to play till the 2019 World Cup. Why do you want to waste your time on T20s? Let's plan ahead with the T20s and we'll keep you for the one-day internationals. But is there an inherent feeling that he's not going to play beyond 2019 anyway? So let's prepare for the T20 World Cup in 2020. Let's get the youngsters in there and let's keep MS now only in one form of the game. Look, if I mean, that's what it looks like. I mean, he's probably going to play till 2019 World Cup and not play after that because he's already quit Test cricket. Uh, he's been only playing the limited overs version. I would have looked at it a little differently from what Zach is saying because if he's going to play at 2019 World Cup, nobody's sure. Yes, we're talking about MS Dhoni, but I'm saying nobody's sure in Indian cricket. If he is going to play, and especially with the form and debate and talk around it and everybody's watching, he's not looked in that same form that everybody would like to see him in. You would want him to get as many games as he can because there are not too many games before the World Cup. If you count the number of days, what, 18, 20 days he would have played till the World Cup. So you would actually, if you are wanting him to play 2019 World Cup, you want him in form, you want him to be at top of his game and not struggling at that moment. So if somebody is struggling... I'm glad, you, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up because he doesn't play for Jharkhand either. Yeah. So when he's not playing ODIs, he's not playing anything. Yeah, because with, I mean, if he plays for Jharkhand, he would, you know, go there and play or domestic cricket is definitely a, you know, that chalk and cheese. There's not much you can, you know, gain from there. So if he's going to get back in form, he's going to look good, where is he going to do that? So if, if that is the case that it's only till 2019, the World Cup, then if it was me, I would make sure that he plays each and every game that's possible. Unless, unless, I mean, the, the counter yeah. view is that he'll play the ODIs in Australia. Yeah. He'll play the five ODIs in, in New Zealand, come back and play the ODIs against Australia at home and play the IPL. So he'll have had a lot of cricket in the build-up to, uh, to the 2019 World Cup. So, look at the last uh, 15 games. When does he walk in? With Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma getting runs and nobody ah, gets that, in? That, that's a problem in <laughs> no, itself. So, I'm saying, a, yeah. so, when we're preparing for the World Cup, you want him at his peak of his game. Yes. And if he, which he isn't. I mean, I, I'm probably, you know, uh, too little a man to talk about his peak and not. But he's definitely not at his peak. So, what do you want? Do you want him to get back? So where is he going to get back into form? Not sitting at home. So, uh, I think it, it's a call that they shouldn't have made if he's going to play the World Cup. If he's not going to play the World Cup, you've decided, the team has decided to move on, you've got Rishabh Pant who's arrived, that's a different story. 